Hi, Lex for Less family. Today is Friday, April 28th. I'm on my lunch break right now and I am on the IKEA website. I am designing my pack system for this space that I'm sitting in. Y'all can see that was my little um, drawing right there in my head of what I thought I wanted. I'm online doing my um, designing the pack system. Let me show you what I have so far. All right, so this is the pack system that I came up with. The measurements are actually... I wanted it to be 108 inches long, but it's gonna be too close to the wall that's over here. So in, as far as the corner, and I wanted to leave some space on either side. So I shortened it by five inches on each side. And then the um, wardrobe length that I went with was 79 inches because the 92 inches would have been too tall because I wouldn't be able to reach it. My husband's six feet tall, he wouldn't have had a problem. But 79 inches was a good compromise. And y'all, look how much it is. It's only $720. And I say only 720 because the very first time I designed the pack system, it was like $1,500, which still wasn't bad when you think about it. But $720, I am really excited about this. So I have two hanging sides. One will be my side and one will be my husband's side, which that's plenty. And then I have three drawers. One will be used for like his ties and then my belts and then miscellaneous. Because right now I have my belts hanging on the end of this rack and it's just, it's too hard to get to when it's time to get to one. And then right here, this is a pullout shelf that is going to have like another little shelf under it. And that's where I'm gonna put my sunglasses. And then these three shelves right here, um are going to be for one one row is going to be for jeans and then the other two rows are going to be for like purses or things like that or or um display purses you know like my designer handbags and stuff like that but other than that i'm really pleased with this system for the low low price of 720 dollars and um i think it'll probably cost me a couple hundred to have it installed which is not bad everybody knows that ikea stuff is a beast to put together but this is what i've come up with so far and um tell me how you like it hi likes for last family today is saturday april 29th i'm on my lunch break right now today's my last saturday working and i just came in from a quick run i had to pick up um my dry cleaning i remember those clothes i showed you in my last vlog specifically the one that i said i was going to use in my series where i was going to be recreating some of our um favorite fashion influencers looks well these are the clothes y'all side note <laughs> the cleaner that i go to is a young lady that i used to work with when i worked at at&t she left at&t and started her own business and y'all when i tell y'all she is doing so damn good don't let these companies indoctrinate you into thinking that because they pay you a nice salary that it ain't no life outside of them because I'm here to tell you that is not the case. Anyway, these are the clothes that I picked up. I dropped these off y'all on Thursday and they already back today. Then while I was out, y'all, y'all remember the frozen coats from back in the day? It's melted a little bit, but y'all remember the frozen coats from back in the day from McDonald's? They have them back on their menu, so I got that, and then I just got me a small fry. I was watching the Carolina Herrera fashion show. You most, you, you all may know Carolina Herrera, not only as a designer, but um, as the uh, fragrance, the good girl fragrance, you know, the fragrance with the, with the nice pretty heel. That's who I'm referring to. Well, in one of her showings, she had this outfit where the where the model was wearing these. And it was so simple, but it was so chic. It was a pair of black um, tapered leg pants with this white shirt that had balloon-like sleeves on it. So, now, this is not Carolina Herrera. Let me just say that up front. Um, however, I love that shirt so much, I went on a hunt to find a dude. And let's see, it is from a company called Selmia. Now let's see if what I got is what I actually ordered. Here's the shirt. And as you can see, it has like that tapered collar. I call it a bishop's collar, but you know, it has that tapered collar. It does button down the front. 
and it has the hidden buttons, which is what I like. And then it has the balloon sleeves. It looks like it's going to fit. Because you can know. Girl, it ain't no button down. It's a pullover. On the website, it said it was a button down. Anyway. All right, so to give you an idea of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And I'm sure when it's steamed out, you can see it better. But I am really kind of bothered by the fact that it has, um, on the website, it was described as having it as being buttoned down. And y'all just sat up here and heard me say it has hidden buttons. Child, it ain't a button, but nowhere in the back. I don't know. All right, so here's the shirt. I do have on another shirt under it, which is why it's fitting a little tight. I'll pop up a picture of the Carolina Inspiration picture, but this is only $24, and um, I'll insert the link for it. But, um, but that's all I wanted to show you guys. I am going to be making a run when I get off today. I am going to pick up some white shells from... Walmart. I wanted to get them from Target, but Target is sold out. So I'm going to get them from Walmart and they're going to be used as shoe racks to replace this etouffee that I have. And y'all, my IKEA pack system is being ordered today. My husband came behind me this morning and remeasured just to make sure that what I measured yesterday was right. So he came behind me this morning and remeasured. So my pack system is being ordered today. If I order it today, I think they said it had a delivery of sometime next week and it's an additional 200 to install. So not bad, but that is what I, that is all so far, you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Y'all, so I'm sitting in this bedroom to office space. Um, this is also the space that I work from during the week. And I lit a candle yesterday, y'all. It's really the only candle that I like from Bath & Body Works. It's their lavender and vanilla candle. It has a really soft scent. It's not overpowering at all. It's a three-week candle, but because of the um, space that I'm sitting in, I only lit one of the wicks, which is enough to fill this space with, you know, a scent that's going to give it a nice fragrance and not be like too in your face. Anyway, so yesterday I left the candle lit after I logged off of my computer and y'all, I fell asleep with the candle burning. Now, thank God it did not pose any type of a burn uh, or fire risk or anything. So this morning when I got up to start my work day, I came in here and the candle, I noticed immediately that it was still burning. But then y'all, I think I'm allergic to the candle or something because as soon as I walked in this room, I started sneezing and I have been sneezing non-stop since this morning, okay? So of course I immediately blew the candle out when I walked in the room um, and saw that it was still burning. But then after I was sneezing for probably 30 minutes, you know, straight off and on, I'm like, it has to be this candle. I blew the candle out. And because the fragrance is still in the room, smells very good, by the way. Smells like it should be in a spa. If you haven't um, smelled the lavender and vanilla candle from Bath & Body Works, you will like it, I, I promise. Um, anyway, so, but because that scent is still in the room, my allergy said, bet you won't do that again. So I, I vacuumed the floor, you know, not, I mean, like, what what is vacuuming the floor going to do, child, when the scent is in the air? So I had to... When I went out for my so when I went out for my lunch break, I stopped sneezing immediately because I was out in, you know, fresh air. I was in my car mostly. Um the only time I got out was the very short time where I got my clothes from the cleaners. But in that short amount of time that I was out of this room, I didn't sneeze at all. As soon as I came back, I started sneezing again. So I left the window up and y'all <laughs> just to like let some air from outside circulate in and out. Y'all, I have not sneezed once. So I think I am allergic to that candle. Isn't that crazy? I was sitting in this room all day yesterday with the candle lit. Didn't sneeze, but because I left it burning overnight and came back in, and I guess that um, fragrance had time to saturate. 
I was sneezing immediately since I walked in this morning. So that's crazy. I mean, I'm, I seems like I'm allergic to something new every day. I mean, <laughs> I did not have allergies when I was a young girl, but the older I get, the more I'm finding out um, that there are more and more things to which I am allergic. Isn't that crazy? But um, So I have the window up now and it's blowing some air from outside in and then it's as as that air circulates in and out i'm gonna close the window back lord if i if i walk out of here with that window open and my husband come home from work tonight and that window still open he probably gonna be like i'm sure he's gonna be texting me in a minute anyway asking me as i home at my home because he's probably gonna get an alert on the alarm that says unusual activity upstairs window open but i just wanted to come and tell y'all that i thought that was just crazy y'all let me know if y'all have any allergies that y'all have developed as an adult that you didn't have as a kid crazy right it's saturday it's saturday evening so they're probably crowded but then again our weather here is a um, little bit on the inclement side it was raining most of the day today so maybe people want to stay in but it's not raining right now so we'll see Y'all hear how stuffy I am. Um, I'm not sneezing right now. That's because I'm not in the house. I told y'all the situation earlier about that candle. So um, hopefully this air that I'm in will clear my nasal passage out. And I think a while, I'm thinking while I'm in Target, I'm probably gonna get like a nasal flush or something to flush my nasal passage out because that candle was trying to take it out. sometimes I'll be wondering why people park the way they do. Look at this. Nah, look at him. He back too far and he up too close. Oh, Y'all want me here? I think I'm gonna look for a uh, little console table to go up against the window. To go right under the window right there. See if I, can find one. I saw these chairs right here at Habitat for Humanity for $25 each. Mm -hmm. Man. All right, gotta get Bella some food. What does she eat? this one. All right, I've been hearing people talk about this. Try this. all right y'all i'm here lanop it's right over my shoulder i just placed my order for my food um i just got two chalupas and one shrimp taco um got my bookcases they're right here you can't see them but got my bookcases from target i'm actually going to leave those in the car until my husband gets home because it took two people to lift one box so i know there is no way I'm going to be able to lift one box and carry it up the stairs. I ain't going to even try to do it. Y'all, I didn't mention to y'all that a couple nights ago, I had a terrible case of insomnia. I mean, like, horrible. Like, I did not fall asleep until about 4.30 in the morning. And um, <laughs> it was just wild. I could not fall asleep. When my husband ended up getting up later on that morning, he was like, what was going on with you? I'm like, I don't know. My It's like my brain would not shut off. Well, anyway, later on that day when he came home from work, he brought me home some chamomile tea. And y'all, after I took a bath that night, 
I had a cup of that chamomile, uh, a cup of that chamomile tea, and when I tell you that chamomile tea knocked me out, <laughs> y'all. Between that hot bath I had and that hot cup of chamomile tea, I slept all night. All right, y'all, I'm back home. Let me show you what I got from Target. I got the nasal allergy spray. I got the Vicks Vapor Pass. I forgot I had a nasal steamer that I bought last year when I was having an allergy attack around this time. And, um, I but I didn't have any more of the pads left, so I bought some refill pads for that. I'm going to probably use that tonight. I bought nasal spray. I actually bought this for my son because he has, he suffers from allergies as well, but his allergies are seasonal. So he he can keep this in his car. I bought the Lumi. I've been seeing, I mean, I know if you like me, you've seen these commercials all over YouTube. So it finally piqued my curiosity. I'm like, you know what? Let me try it. It was only $3.99 for a travel size, so I got that. And then I just got um, some Dial hand soap. I got two of those. One for um, one to refill my soap container in the master bath, and one to refill the soap container in the hall bath. And that's my target run. Oh, and my bookcases. And let me show you what I got to eat. All right, so here's my food. This is a shrimp taco. Um, and I wanted a flour tortilla instead of a corn one. So it came on a soft, soft shell. And these are the two chalupas. Um, the chalupa is underneath all of that stuff. You can't see it. Um, and then, of course... Just like every Mexican restaurant, they give you a huge helping of the nachos. And this is just um, salsa. So this is my food. Probably not going to eat it all. Probably just going to eat the shrimp taco and one chalupa and then leave the other one for my son. And um, that is it, y'all. Well, I'm done eating my food. What I did eat of it anyway. I ate the shrimp taco and I ate half of the chalupa. I didn't like any of it. I still have one chalupa left. I'll see if my son wants it. He probably won't, but that wasn't good. I should have just went to Taco Bell. All right, y'all, here is the my nasal steamer that I was telling you about. And here are the um, little pads that go in it. And what you do is you just fill it up with a little bit of water and it generates a steam. You actually don't have to use the Vicks pads in this. You can just, um, you know, inhale the natural steam that the water makes. <clears throat> but I'm gonna use this, the little Vicks pads today. And what you do is you fill it up with a little bit of water. You put the pad on the inside of this little thing right here. And then naturally the Vicks and the steam from the water will work together and um, clear your passages really nicely. Um, I like to use bottled water when I'm using it. I haven't had to use it, like I said, since <laughs> this time last year. Y'all forgive, forgive that. That's my bath water running so once i get out of the bathtub i'm gonna go ahead and use that and then um go back downstairs and make my tea and that's gonna be it for my night good morning lux Relates family today is sunday april 30th it is 8 17 a.m i'm headed to the hair salon my appointment is at nine so i have plenty of time to get there y'all update on that situation that i was telling y'all about about how I thought I was um, allergic to that, allergic to that candle. How about last night after I ate that nasty food, cause it was nasty, and then went upstairs, took a bath, and got in the bed. I never did go back downstairs and make the tea, quite honestly, cause I just didn't feel like going back downstairs, if I'm being completely honest. No sneezing fits whatsoever, like none last night, none this morning, like none. So. I'm convinced now, without a doubt, that it was definitely 
I'm convinced now without a doubt that it was definitely the um, candle. My hair salon is in the town center part of Jacksonville. You all have heard me mention that mall before. I have to make a stop to Sephora. I need to make a exchange. Then I have to go back to Tiffany because I need them to fit my um, bangle bracelet to my wrist. For less family i'm done at the hair salon obviously i'm here at tiffany i'm here to get my bracelet size i think i told you all that earlier and then when i leave here i'm going to um back around to sephora to make that exchange and then i'm leaving this mall because i'm not getting trapped out here today All right, y'all. Didn't I say I was leaving Tiffany's and going straight to Sephora and I wasn't gonna get trapped in this mall? Stopped by Nordstrom Rack. Y'all remember those pink Mark Fisher shoes I was telling y'all about that I regretted not buying? They had them in turquoise, so I went ahead and got them. Those shoes are very comfortable. Um, they were only $34. Now I'm headed to Sephora and then I think I'm gonna head home. Since we've been gone. feel that summer feel but i don't want to go if you ain't with me let's make a home be all alone so tell me baby where would you like to go maybe we'll drive from coast to coast only to where we love the most i'm taking you to paradise paradise I'm here at Publix. This is my last stop before I make it home. I decided that I want to make, um, but I think I said this earlier. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I'm going to make some braised short ribs. I've never made this before, but I saw several recipes and it looks um, really good. Check out, and then we're going home. for less family today is monday may 1st y'all i have to work today uh remember i told y'all my schedule flipped back to monday through friday praise the lord but i'm up this morning before work because i am um pulling all of my winter clothes out y'all remember i told y'all i was gonna do that last week i didn't i'm doing it i'm starting it this morning let me show you where i am so far so so far these are the winter clothes that i have pulled out and as you can see they're all sweaters um some of them are dresses you can't really tell like this is a dress this is a dress 
Um, these are pants. This is a skirt set, but for the most part, they're mostly sweaters and winter bottoms. So I'm pulling these out and I'm going to be putting in putting them in the vacuum seal um, bags that I showed you all last week so that I can go ahead and store them away and free up a bunch of space in my closet. So here are the contents. Here are the bags and it came with a hand vacuum. I wonder if I could just use my vacuum attachment. I wonder if I can do that. Mm. All right, it says step one is to pack it. So let's pack it. I ain't mad at you. Got nothing but love for you. Do you this got me paying for rent, paying for trips, diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist, and here I am on the first bag. Next step says to seal it. All right, next step it says vacuum. So flip it over. This little. Unscrew this little part right here. And, um, so let's see. Is it screwed? Okay, it's screwed on. And you're supposed to pump. I don't see anything happening. Okay, I see it. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty hard because there's no air. All of the air has been taken out. So this is going to fit nicely in a bin. Um, and I still have some more clothes to do, but I think one more medium bag will be fine. Then when I want to unseal it, I just unseal it with this so i think this was a good buy i will put the link in the description box below so these are the rest of the clothes right here that i pull out of the closet i do have some more that i need to um put away that are in the other room in there i'll do that later because that arm vacuum thing just kind of wore me out a little bit that's a sign that i need to get my butt back in the gym but anyway thank you guys so much for hanging out with me that is going to be it for this weekend's vlog if you haven't already be sure to go ahead and subscribe also leave me a thumbs up that really helps me out on my youtube algorithm also follow me on instagram and tiktok at lux living for underscore less and i will see you guys in the next video bye y'all